Hi everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to give you a demonstration on how to practice creating movement using Vincent van Gogh's iconic painting style. Here's what you'll need. A piece of white paper, a marker, a crayon, a pen or a pencil or something to draw with, and a smile. If you'd like to have the example from Seesaw up on your computer for reference, go ahead. Or you can look at it later when you create your own artwork. Let's get started. As always, what do we do first in our class when we start something? We always, that's right, write your name and class and date at the top of your paper. So, all right. Ms. Fiddler, you write your class, whatever it may be, and here, and the date. It is March 7th, 20. Next, break up your paper into four quadrants. So we're going to make a line down the middle first. Who remembers what kind of line that's called? I hope you said vertical. Very tall man, remember? Next, make this type of line, which is called a, I hope you said horizontal. Now let's label each box. In this first one, let's write dashed. D-A-S-H-E-D. -E For dash lines we're going to be making. In the next one, we're going to write swirls. S-W-I-R-L-S. -S. In this one, we're going to make circles. C-I-R-C-L-E-S. And finally, curves, C-U-R-V-E-S. Now, let's get to work. Let's practice. Dash lines, we did this in class. Vincent van Gogh, when he used his brush, he made several different dash lines. You can make them thin or thick. Fill the box with all sorts of dash lines. You can do longer dashes, T dashes, thicker long dashes. Fill up the box. Next, swirls. This one's my favorite. It's sort of like that loop de loop line we practiced. You can start off dashed, and swirl around like that, almost like a spiral. Right? Let's make another one. It's like a tail and then it goes into a spiral. These are fun to make. Vincent van Gogh used a lot of these in the background of his Starry Night painting. They're fun to make. Maybe I'll make a dashed one. Or I'll go around some more. Those are fun. Next, circles. Often, if you look carefully at his painting, the stars and the lights look like they have little circles around them. They start with a little circle. Then there's another circle. Some of them are dashed spiral circles. Try out a couple of these. Let's do another one. These are also called concentric circles, if you like. Circles within circles within circles. I'll do another one, always starting with the circle in the middle. These are going to be our stars when it comes time to make our own Vincent van Gogh painting. Or you can just go around like this. And finally, curves. Practice your curvy lines. They're sort of like waves as well. 
These look like the cypress trees that Vincent van Gogh often painted in the south of France. Wavy, long, curvy lines. That's it. When you're finished, take a photo of your work and upload it to your journal on Seesaw. Have fun, and I'll see you soon. I can't wait to see all of your work. Bye.